Good morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> it's a beautiful morning here. It's a little nippy. It, well, <laughs> just a little bit. At least the wind's not blowing, and this that is true. Uh, that makes a big difference right there. Uh, the lake is absolutely gorgeous this morning. Uh, in our opinion, this is probably the best time of the year to come uh, to Dam Site. It's, it's lake Bill's campground. opinion. Well, Deb's opinion. It should be warmer so that the water's warmer. So she can go swimming. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> But anyway, well, hope you enjoyed the, the little uh, video as we were leaving where the uh, fall, rendezvous, fall was. rendezvous was being held and coming back to the grind back oh, over yeah. here. Oh, yeah. We are working really hard. <laughs> I really, uh, I'm getting to where I really like that, uh, that backup camera monitoring system a lot. We did a video about that system, oh, you know, a few videos back. We'll... We'll post a link to that so you can go back and look at it. But basically, this kit comes with uh, two wireless cameras, one that we have mounted on the rear bumper of the van, which helps when we're backing up to the trailer, and then the other one that we have mounted on the rear of the trailer. And the video that you saw as we were headed back over here, of course, was from the camera that was mounted on the rear of the trailer. Deb told me that uh, 
I probably didn't want to know what was going on behind the trailer. I can't imagine driving through Memphis and seeing what's behind Well, <laughs> Well, it's nice to know, you know, what's going on when you're, because the trailer is, you know, so wide that you can't see around it. But I'll post a link to that, but it's really a neat, neat kit and it's reasonably priced. So uh, we'll post a link to that video and also a link to where you can get it on Amazon. And uh, anyway, uh, we're happy with it so far. A couple little things we're gonna change. We're gonna uh, go with a different kind of uh, mount for the monitor inside the van, but uh, we've got that figured out. So, and when we do that, we'll uh, show you a video on that and show you what we did. But anyway, the rendezvous is in the books. The rendezvous was amazing. It was absolutely, wow. there's there's no words to describe. Delilah's getting a little irritated. Yeah, yeah. she's out here. Yeah, and but, we're not gonna talk a whole lot here uh, because I got a slideshow that I wanna show you here in a little bit, you know, about everything. We, but, we met some new awesome people and we got reacquainted with folks we already have met on our travels. And it was like a big family reunion. Yeah, um, family. A couple of our kids made an appearance and we were thrilled. Yeah. Uh, Melinda sung with her dad. If you yeah. missed that, it was, of course, I'm the mom, so yeah. I'm prejudiced, but I yeah. thought it was awesome. And uh, the food was awesome. Oh, the uh, food. Yeah. <laughs> Had, what can I say? <laughs> we had so many people reach out to us and say that they wanted to handle the main course this night, that night, or this night. So we had uh, three different nights. We had specialty food. Uh, the first night, of course, was when Keith brought all of the uh, snapper up, yes. fresh caught snapper and he from, and from Todd Florida. And Brad got in there and cooked it. Yeah, yeah. That was and, amazing. And then uh, Scott Hazel. Yes, he uh, brought a brisket, brisket and that smoked he a brisket smoked. all day. And man, it was tasty. It was awesome. And everybody else brought little side dishes. And it, my God, we just ate until we bust. Right. <laughs> and then of course the last the last dinner that we had on Thursday evening uh, was uh, Todd, uh, a Louisiana boy. He uh, he uh, brought all the fixings for jambalaya. And he made it in a great big iron kettle over a campfire. Yeah, and it, it was, was pretty cool. Pretty was it iron or was it stainless steel? I don't know. We won't get into that, the it kettle was a part. cast iron. Okay, fine. <laughs> I didn't look that close. All I did was when, when it was ready to eat, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it was absolutely fabulous. And let me tell you something about all these different guys that did the cooking. And then, of course, other guys came in to pitch in. Uh, prior to this... They didn't know each other no. for the most part. There was a couple that might have known each other from other events that we'd had. But prior to this, for the most part, they did not know each other. But even though each of them was doing a different kind of dinner, they still pitched in and helped each other out. Yeah, and was... others pitched in too. So, you know, on, on the fish night, uh, Keith, Keith did the deep, deep fat frying thing. Yes. And then Todd, though, he wanted to uh, do, uh, cook some of the fish over uh, a, grill. a huge charcoal grill. And um, I don't know. It was real hard and, to and say which one we Brad liked Brad and Karen there. brought their French fry cutter, and we had fresh French fries. French fries, <laughs> French fries, and French fries, and more French fries. And yeah. everybody else brought other yeah. items that went with, and um, Paige had a special cake made for us. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. we ended up with two special two cakes. Two special cakes, yeah. yes. Which David we... brought one as well. Yeah. I hope I got a picture of that. I do. Oh, good, good, <laughs> good. Because <laughs> we tried to get photos, and we're going to show you a real neat slideshow here in just a little bit. We're not going to keep you too long. But the theme, I would say, and it was kind of an unwritten theme, is what I would say. Delilah's irritating the squirrels. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was an unwritten theme. Mm -hmm. And basically, it was simply joy, peace, and happiness. Yes. That's what I would say. You know, I've used the term before, magical. Uh, but here, here again, just like we said at the last rendezvous, we had people come from all different parts of the country. And for the most part, I would say a good 85% of them had never met anybody else. You Probably, know, they, yes. And every one that I would talk to, I would ask them this question. How did you feel within 20 minutes after you got here? And they all said the same thing. It was like they, they being with family. It's like, or it's like they'd known everybody for years, you know. And uh, that was the beauty of the whole thing. It was almost like we had 
had our own little special little paradise where everybody came together together and where everyone was happy they weren't concerned about all the problems we have out there i don't want to get into that but you know what i'm saying um, because all they were concerned about was the fellowship between all of us you know and folks that uh, had the same basic mindset when it came to this particular lifestyle and yeah. we really appreciate everyone yeah. that came. I think the highest number we counted around one of the dinners, and we may have missed some people because, you know, people are moving around talking in different areas. Well, I think we counted 65, which is bigger than the Florida one mm -hmm. last a little year. Bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and we really, really appreciate everyone that came and participated and helped us make it a success. Mm -hmm. And it was truly a success. And, and how we know it was a success is based on how tired we were <laughs> after it was all over. It was a good tired. Oh, but, yeah. But, you know, it was. we invited all these people to our party and. Yeah. Um, so we wanted to make sure everyone yeah. had a good time and I think we succeeded. Yeah. Now as far as walkthrough videos are concerned, uh, I don't even know how many I did. I know that <laughs> I did a lot. It just I also, <laughs> you know, and, and the last three videos have been walkthrough videos that was from this and I'm, I'm telling you folks, we got a lot more to go and it'll be in all, about all different types of conversions from basic to fancy and everything in between. And we even have another handcrafted one to yes. show. Totally handcrafted. Uh, so be watching it's, for that it's one. It's always so amazing to see people's different concepts and different creativity. And everyone builds according to their own needs, mm -hmm. which makes it totally, right. totally awesome to so see. So there's a, a lot to see. Uh, I probably got enough to keep us going for, you know, probably the next two months. You'll see at least at least two walkthrough videos a month. Depends on how much other content we have that we need to, uh, you know, show y'all. Uh, you may see as many as four in a month, you know, one every Friday, but uh, you will see at least two a month and maybe more. Okay. And now and then we'll throw and an extra one And now we're going to have a little week. bit of recovery time. Yep. And then we're going to start working on the spring rendezvous in Florida. Yeah. I want to mention one more thing right quick. Oh, okay. A lot of people asked about the concert, you know. Oh. Yes, I did record the concert, but I did something wrong and the audio came out horrible, in my opinion. Yeah. The best recording so, we have is what our son-in-law did on his phone. Yeah, what he shot on his phone. <laughs> and that was pretty awesome. Yeah, and it came out it came out a lot better than the recording that I tried to do. I I had too hot of a signal coming into the camera or something, but I've been doing a lot of research on that. That's something I'm still learning about and we will get to the point where these live concerts can be re at least recorded uh, to be shown later. And we'll be doing another one, of course, when we have the Florida Rendezvous. Now I, I, we can get back to the Florida Rendezvous. Yeah. We'll, 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 we'll discuss that in another video. Okay. But, um... Well, a couple little things we do need to mention about the Florida Rendezvous. Okay. Um, the campground is booked full. All, all our followers, uh, there is a waiting list you can get on because inevitably we always have a few cancellations because stuff happens and Life happens. something happens where people can't come. So uh, you might want to, if you think you want to come to the Florida Rendezvous, uh, try to get on the waiting list. We have a, a, some other ideas up our sleeve to accommodate uh, more folks, but we'll get more into that after I talk more with uh, the campground management. About and, that. We, and we had a meeting with our merch people, mm -hmm. our designer, Sherry yes. Fialka, yeah, yeah. and the people that actually print our merch and all that, and they are getting geared up and ready, yeah. and we should be showing you the new Florida design yeah. soon. Yeah. Arkansas is still available for a little bit, mm -hmm. uh, but the Florida design hopefully by the end of this month. Yeah. So a lot, a lot of things in the works. Uh, we have uh, what little, about two and a half weeks left here with our agreement with the Corps of Engineers. Yeah, thereabouts so where we're at right now, as far as being park attendants are concerned, uh, we are going to hang around in this area for a little while. Um, we're going to spend the Thanksgiving holidays with our kids and their families, and then shortly after that, we're going to start moseying down to the southeast part of the country. Going to try to get out of here before the snow and ice starts coming. You know. <laughs> 
<laughs> but anyway, um, all we can say is, and I've used this term before, and it really doesn't describe it, but folks, it was absolutely magical. Both of these rendezvous that we have hosted have been absolutely magical. Okay, and some people have the concept that it's just for conversions, and that's not true. No, not at all. And we, we welcome anyone, if you're in a pre pre-met bait RV, whatever. It doesn't matter. Tent. It doesn't matter yeah. as long as you and you know, you've got this Same what was mindset. it? Somebody says, I'm I'm living this way in my heart. Yeah. <laughs> or the li living the vicariously through you guys and stuff like but, that. You but, know, yeah. anyone's welcome. Oh yeah, absolutely. Don't if you don't have a cargo trailer conversion, don't let that hold you up. Absolutely not. Yeah. yeah. Um so anyway uh, we will be talking more about the Florida Rendezvous and getting more in depth as to how the schedule is going to be and all that stuff, you know, between now and because you know February the twentieth. Well, I know I was laying we'll be out. Here before you know I it. was laying out the dates and when we're going to be here and when we're going to be here and here it is like oh my gosh. I know. <laughs> it's getting real, people. I know. <laughs> but anyway, and one more thing before we uh, close out, I've got a slideshow. Uh, we've got a slideshow that we want you to see here as we close out. But one more thing. You know, we've been uh, uh, nursing along this uh, YouTube channel for, what, three and a half years or so uh, in earnest, I would say. Well, a little bit more than that because yeah. we had the build. <laughs> yeah, I know. But um, we've never asked for subscribers. We've never asked for people to do that. But, you know, we're ready to start growing. We're ready to uh, get our message out there. So if so, you have subscribed, awesome. Yes. If you haven't, think about it. Please subscribe. And, and like and share. Yeah, like and share our videos. Uh, Let's get more people involved. Deb and I are the real deal. You know, I <laughs> no, don't this, know. What you see is what, what you get. What you see is what you get. <laughs> and that's something that people always say when they come up to meet us and after they visit with us for a little bit. You know, they say, you know what, you're just like you are on, on YouTube. And we met some really nice people last yeah. night. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we introduced them to Post Wine. We introduced too. them to our wine. <laughs> We're... <laughs> So now, now they're buying a bottle. <laughs> going to come, come back tonight. Anyway, folks, uh, we're going to let you go now. I put together a, a little slideshow for you uh, just to to see, uh, you know, the people and then the crowd and, and, and obvious looks on their faces as to how much they were enjoying this event. And uh, then there will be a little closing comment from the crowd itself. So please stay tuned for that. But right now, we're going to let you go. This is Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. And you know what we're going to say. We're not camping. We're living. You all get out there and do some living. And we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye now.
Can I have everybody's attention for just a second? We're awfully busy. Huh? We're awfully busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, isn't that true? Isn't that true? For many of us, this is our last night of fellowship together, so I'll keep this short. <laughs> but do what now? Don't keep it sweet. Okay, well, I'll try not to. I'll try to be sour. Okay. But uh, anyway, I, Deb and I just can't tell you how much we have uh, enjoyed putting this event on. And we so much appreciate everyone that reached out to help with this event. There's no way that Deb and I could have done this by ourselves, you know. And how many of us now have new friends that we will have for the rest of our lives? So how has everybody enjoyed this week? Great. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Has it been great? Yeah. Man, oh man. Man, oh man. I, I can't say that enough. We're going to tr keep trying to do these kind of things. It's all there is to it. I mean, it's just uh, awesome. It truly is. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to keep it short. There's going to be some sad goodbyes tomorrow. We already know that. But for now, we're not camping. We're living. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>